Dean, what are your thoughts on that one? It's a great game. Entertaining. I would absolutely snap your hands off for a, a point today against a good side. And like I say, they're fighting to get promoted in the playoffs, cement their place within that. It just shows you the strength and depth of their squad. Michi Effidy went out really well. Come off injured in the first half and then half time they've made a change, but I'm going to centre forward. And then obviously uh, they made another change. But I thought it was a massive turning point in the game. I thought we were well worth our, our lead in the first half. 1-0 because the game was tight. And we managed, after a bit of pressure to start the second half, to nick the pinch of goal, really. And there's a huge turning point in the game. And the referee, like, for me. And I know Rob, and I like him, and I speak to him. But uh, it's a crazy decision. Adam Marriott's clean in one-on-one with the goalkeeper. And no matter where it is, it's down the middle of the pitch, and down the middle of the goal. It's not wide. And he's pulled down by their defender. So uh, it should be a red card. And it was a huge turning point in the game. And full credit to the Grimsby, giving their all. But I thought, I'm so proud of our players today because... You know, you sort of look at their bench and what they're bringing off their bench. You look at their bench. No disrespect to our lads that are on our bench. You look what's in their treatment room. Um, I thought our players give so much for the cause today. And, uh, I'm really proud of that. I felt like we, we more than matched them, especially in that first half. I and mean, we uh, deserved the lead, I felt, at half time. Yeah, like I say, I thought we deserved the lead ahead. Um, game was tight. Obviously, the game plan was not come out of shape too much uh, against like, some good players. Um, so, yeah, look, and the pitch probably didn't help them. It probably helped us a little bit as well. So, like I say, yeah, we, we played well in the first half. Um, and then start of the second half, we just sort of dropped our guard a little bit. We knew they'd make a change. We spoke about it at half time. We felt they'd bring some pace on. And they went 4 4 2 from a 4 3 3. So, um, and then we managed to, like I say, get a goal to start of the second half. But the biggest thing for me is just, and any supporter will tell you this, I'm a supporter as well. I support Liverpool. All you want is football players to give their all. And our supporters see that today. And, um, yeah, we might have been short in, in different departments and in, in quality and defensive quality because all the defenders are injured. Um, but yeah, so just I thought Rico was immense. If you, if you go through some of the lads, like you know, Everton Richards today headed more balls out of the box than ever. So, and that's what he's good at. Efron was a threat. We could have pinched it at the end. Efron had a great chan- a chance. Maz scored again. So, and everyone uh, did that bit for the team. You've already touched it. It was a huge shift for, from uh, from everyone today, wasn't it? Yeah, it had to be. Like I say, it had to be a big shift. And uh, we've got to recover right for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, and we've got to move on to the next game, which is Monday. And it's just, no, it just shows there's no easy games in the division. You know, uh, I think all the shots beat Ross County today. So, you know, no one's seeing that coming. It's such a difficult division. Um, and the biggest thing for us is uh, we've got a little bit of stability now. Um, and the boys have, got, have to enjoy the last three games together. And then we'll move on to the new season. So, you know, I enjoyed our performance today. Like I said, I just thought, once you give it all like that, you can never knock a man for that. You said you wanted uh, consistency in your pre-match interview. Did you feel like you got that after uh, after Eastley's win last weekend? It's difficult to have consistency when you've got so many players out. Um, I thought all the players were brilliant today. Excellent performance, like I say, against a good side. But it's very difficult when you've got so many things going on um, and players not fit, not ready. Um, Young Eamon did quite well today, you know. Uh, I was critical of him uh, when he played Welcome, but I thought he did quite well today. Um, and yeah, so I'd, lo- I'd love us to have clean sheets. I'd love us to be bringing a defensive midfielder when Wes goes off a cramp and Harley goes off a cramp. That shows you they've given their all, they've gone off a cramp. You know, I'd love us to have brought on an extra centre half and gone five at the back. But I didn't have it. So that's, that's, that's the reality of it, you know. So if you look at our bench, um, and I don't want to be disrespectful to them lads I just didn't have the, the ammunition on the bench to be able to see out the game Adam Marrett was on the score sheet again uh, what did you make of his performance and his goal? Maz is a box player that's what he does I've known Maz a long long time when I was a manager at Hemel I tried to sign him a long, 10 years ago and I've always kept in contact with him great kid great pro no issues around the place low maintenance comes in does his walk leads for example good kid you know he needs a target man to play with as well I would have loved it you know they've got Taylor as a target man Maz on the shoulder so we know what we need. He needs that. Um, but it's, it's, he's been outstanding. And I think that's 23 starts and 17 goals. 24 starts, 17 goals from us. So some record. Do you feel like it was maybe a, a case of Grimsby showing their quality in the, in the final sort of 20 minutes as, as they uh, as equalised? It was obviously that we were, we were, uh, they were 2-0 down at one stage. The two senior players have come off and they've made tactical changes. Like I said, they've got strength and depth. We just didn't have it. We didn't have the ammunition. Not, not, not say. You know, for um, Hawley's come off. He's done a great job in midfield. It's not his position. Wes is not a sitting midfield player. He's done a job for us in there, and they both had to come off for cramp because they've given their all. So, um, at the end of the day, they've got quality. They've got a good team, you know. They, and they'll be kicking themselves they didn't win today because at the end of the day, they will be looking at the table and the form grade and thinking and looking at our injury list. Um, but they'll probably be kicking themselves. But at the end of the day, that's their business, our business. Our players are give their all, and that's all we can ever ask. 
We've got a quick turnaround now for Altrincham. Uh, what's preparation going to look like for that one? Yeah, in tomorrow, uh, cool down and prepare. We travel early on on, uh, on Monday morning. So, we've got an 8 a.m. leave. But, look, it has to be done. There's no easy games in the division. They've had to go to Dover today. I see they've won 1-0. Uh, and their manager's done an unbelievable job with them there, so to be fair to them. Um, and a bigger club than people think, you know. They average just under, you know, just, I think it's just over 2,500 supporters. They're a good club, ultra and well run, and they're sort of finding their, find their feet within the division. They've got some really good players, and like I say, they've got a really good manager, so we're, it'll be a very tough challenge. We'll see how the injury list is and see how the boys are. Um, I know here, from walking here in the last 10 months, I know how. Uh, how never to uh, count your laurels kind of thing here yeah, uh, with players being injured and that. Someone will probably go up tomorrow and have concussion and stuff like that. So I've never seen so many concussions at a football club and so many injuries. So look, we'll just see see where we're at. And then, uh, yeah, once we give our all again, that's all we can ask. You sort of touching it there. F, F seems to pick up a, a knock. Have you got any uh, any more details on yeah, that? Yeah, he just got bang in the head. Uh, he got clapped from behind early in the first half and he got bang in the head. So we'll see how he is tomorrow. No one ever on though, he won't want to miss a game. That's the attitude you need, that's the application you need to be a top footballer and he'll become a top footballer 100%. He'll bypass these divisions um, and he'll go on. And uh, for me, I think he'll play minimum championship because he's got that attitude. Uh, there's a great old Irish saying, reliability is better than ability and everyone ticks that box. Uh, everyone knows his son off, but um, then he didn't want to come off. No, I'm not coming off, no. I'm saying out. No. that's what we need. Just what would you like to say to the Barnet fans today? Yeah, I'd like to thank them for the positive support. Good crowd today. Obviously up against Grimsley's, uh, they're a loud crowd as well. So I hope we give them a, a performance that they're proud of. And uh, we'll keep walking our socks off for you guys. Thanks for your time. Cheers, mate.